Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Edge of Eternity, shall we? Well, this game was on the Xbox Game Pass, and I just thought, hey, let's give it a shot. It looks like, you know, a typical uh, fun JRPG, and I hadn't played one in a while, felt like it, art style looked good, and then I noticed when I booted it up that it said it was made by a small indie team, uh, and that kind of threw me through a loop because I thought this was a bigger studio uh, JRPG, part of some other, you know, existing series, uh, but apparently not. So I'm excited to dive in and see what the game is all about. We're going to start a brand new game, so let's go. Thirty years ago, strange metal airships appeared in our skies. We didn't know who it was or what they wanted. Friendly at first, they shared their extraordinary technology with us. Harry and prospered. For a time. But one day, they simply decided we weren't worthy of their favors anymore. They dealt the first strike, and Junor was obliterated overnight. Against such tremendous power, we realized how powerless we were. The remaining nations formed an alliance under the banner of the Consort, one that might stand a chance against them. After years of countless sacrifices and senseless slaughter, the tide began to turn. We began to hope again. Little did we know that our enemies were about to unleash their most terrible weapon. Wow. The corrosion. Hmm. That doesn't sound favorable. Some kind of bio weapon. Avernus Continent the Beyond, year four sixty of the Cirrus era. Huh. Well, I gotta say, I was not expecting these graphics from the uh, the game's title page and download screenshot. I thought it was going to be like a animated style. Um, this looks good. two-handed swords. Right? Mm hmm. Who in their right mind would use such a stupid weapon? I mean, me. Some kind of insecure kid with a hero complex, no doubt. Aww. Or maybe some other kind of complex, uh, if you catch my drift. Caught the drift. Now, really? You can barely lift it off the ground, and by the time you haul it to your shoulder, your opponent's blade is already running through your chest. Doesn't seem good. Ordo, if we put your theory to the test, will that make you shut up? Oh. I thought you'd never ask. We're going to test a fight, huh? Okay, let's see what kind of combat. Welcome to the battle system of Edge of Eternity. When you come into contact with monsters on the field, you'll enter this battle phase. Okay. In battle, your goal is to defeat your opponents by reducing their hit points to zero. Sounds good. The status of your own characters comprises three gauges. Hit points, which are green, magic points, which are blue, and ATB, white, and red. If your all your characters are reduced to zero hit points, you'll lose the battle. During a battle, the ATB bar loads. When one of your characters or one of your enemies reaches 100% in the ATB bar, it is their turn. During each turn, the ATB bar stops loading until the end of the turn. When it's your turn, you can choose an action. Press right trigger to open the main actions menu. Press A to select an attack action. And by the way, when I booted this game up, there's mouse and keyboard controls. Uh, I'm playing on a PC using uh, an Xbox style controller, so 
There you go. And so it's a turn-based game, huh? Now select the target using uh, left or right or left stick and use A to confirm your target. All right, we're going to hit this guy. And we just chunked him in the face, and he's not dead. Your enemy's ATB is now full. It's their turn to choose an action. They've hit us. By the way, I just want to make it known to my buddy Ordo here. We did get the first attack, and his blade was not through our chest. Do we have any spells? Um, we don't, and our actions are basically attack, move, or skip turn. Uh, so let's just go ahead and attack this guy. And let's see. I'm just going to take a moment to uh, take in the combat field here. So we see some information about the enemy Ordo in the upper left. Uh, we have the controls in the lower left. We have our character information in the lower right. And then in the upper right, it says target enemy range 1, cast time instant, primary stat attack, power 80, which is all the information about the ability that I have queued up, which is a basic attack. And so we're going to just hit him. Okay. Yeah, all right. And he's, well, he's hit us back. Okay, and um, I guess I could advance time, um, but I don't want to do that. I want to attack. Him. Okay. We're just trading blows here. And uh, we're about to kill him. And we lost about... We went down to about half health. I have 893 MP, which is a staggering amount. Take that, Ordo. All talk, huh? Wasn't a complex after all. All right. You won your first battle. After winning a battle, the victory reward interface appears. I love that interface. Um, after winning a battle, your character gains experience. When the XP bar white is full, your character levels up, becoming stronger. Nice. Your weapons also gain experience and level up independently from characters. Okay, interesting. You earn um, Hayris from battles. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I'll hear them say it. Money. Uh, Hayris are the... Or... Hay Hayers are the currency of Hayron that are used to buy equipment and items. You can also see your battle time here. The battle time is the number of seconds, the time counted only during ATB loading that the battle lasts. So it really only lasted 21 seconds. It was a quick fight. And so the, the time freezes when I'm selecting my actions. Press A to continue. I will. And as a result, my weapon, Justice, leveled up. Sounds good. Your rewards are affected by your battle rating and by completing optional battle objectives. So we got a potion as a reward. Let's get it. That's fantastic. Somebody. Bravo. Really nice, gentlemen. Thanks, Sue. Appreciate that. You're properly warmed up. Will you guys help us tidy up the storage room? No. I didn't enlist to stack crates. Me neither. Come on. The punishment was for the whole platoon. Face up to it, Syl. We're here because you questioned the commander's orders in front of everyone. Mm. Don't be like that, Darian. One day, you and I will share everything. As husband and wife. Whoa, Darian. Ugh, still doing the clingy girlfriend routine, Syl? I thought Darian told you he wasn't interested. Oh, oh, but things have changed, buddy. Would you mind getting back to work? We're supposed to be doing this together. Hey, Zandra. Things have changed? <laughs> what? What changed? And here I go, ignored as usual. Darian has agreed to go on a date with me. Hmm. This again. Wait, what? When? <sighs> she got me. I lost a bet, and she chose my punishment. It's not a punishment. Spend one hour on a date with me, and you'll realize I'm a keeper. You'll be begging me for a second one. Whoa! I guess congratulations are in order. I'll play the game, but don't get your hopes up too high, Syl. So. Oh, so this is where you guys are. Hey, Kino! Kino! I've got mail for you! Look at it, Did he you does. Did sandwiches, too? 
You wish, Fatso. Whoa. Choke on your mother's ashes. Whoa. Better for you, Ordo. Nice. And one for you, Darian. Your sister, as always. Darian. Thanks. Sorry, nothing for you guys. Nobody loves you. Deal with it. Wow. The usual. Oof. It's cold out there. I'm gonna take five. Man, I'm in no rush to go back to HQ. It's so tense over there right now. Everyone's on tenter hooks. Mm. Why's that? To know. Maybe they're getting worried too many people are deserting these days. Nonsense. They know how to deal with deserters. Always have. I heard something about mounting a large scale counterattack. I don't know when it's supposed to happen, but. Hey, Darian, what's with the long face? Uh oh. It's. my mother. She caught the corrosion. Ah. Oh. Man, that's rough. I'm sorry, I. Shut up. In a situation like this, it's better not to say anything. The corrosion. What are you gonna do? As for leave, mate. Go to her. Commander Cora likes you. He might just let you. It's been months since they gave anyone leave. Cora needs me. He won't let me go like that. But it's your mother. I know. But what choice do I have? I uh, yikes. Oh, what's going on now? What's happening? I don't know. Doesn't sound good. The Archolites? How did they find us? The cavern's collapsing. Run! Jeez. Whoa. Good thing we were inside. Uh. Camp? Kino! No! No, no, no! Whoa! Kino? Out. The Archolites? What are they doing here? How did they find us? I thought the crystals were supposed to protect us. Okay. Oh How are we supposed to take this on? With our swords. They're sending the stalkers to finish the job. It's over. We're done for. No, we're not done. We're not anywhere near done. Oh uh, yeah, Stay we're not close. done. Remember your training, and we'll make it out. Okay. The usual formation. Sandra, you cover us from the back. That's right. Guys, we'll shield Sandra and make sure nothing gets through. Ready? Okay. This. Yep, we got this. We totally got this. Okay. Ordo, close the gap. Close the gap, Ordo. Um, press right trigger to open the main actions menu. Yeah. Select move. And, oh, there's like a hexagonal movement grid. Interesting. Select the case in front of the character and press A to move there directly or hold A to select the final orientation of the character. Okay. I'm going to move here. Good. That should keep it off Sandra's back. Sandra, you can focus on your casting now. Okay. So she can focus on her casting now. Um, press left trigger to open the spells menu. Select the fire rift action. All right. Um, I wish I had electric rift, but let's go fire rift. Take this, buddy. Launch the fire rift action toward an enemy. Okay, so this says... Oh, we're going to do that. And you can see the red death line arcing toward the enemy. While characters are casting spells, the ATB bar turns red. When the red ATB bar is full, the character will launch their spell. I see. So we want to protect her while that's happening. And there it goes. And now she's going to do it. Fire Rift 1. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, 
Yeah, we only need to hit with that about 15 more times, and we got it. All right, so this thing is... It's coming after us. Press right trigger to open the actions menu and select the defense skip action. Yeah, do that. Defend. Uh, are you okay? And then... I guess in this spot I should just attack it? How much damage do I do? Oh, okay. I actually did a good amount. Alright, um, actions. Oops, uh, spells. And can I try a different one? Um, water rift? I don't know. Do it. It's turning to you, dude. It's time to block. Um, your orientation is all messed up. How do I, like... Does it matter? I'm just gonna defend. Oh, no, it's targeting her. Whoops. I should have attacked. Sorry, dude. Ow. Okay, so that messed up her ADB bar. I see. Okay, so let's just go ahead and swing on this guy. Take that. And we'll hit again over here. Okay. And now it's going to target her. And so... Uh, we're going to open the actions, and when the red ATB does not contain a padlock, it means that the spell is interruptible. You can use a normal attack or an interrupt skill to damage the enemy's power of concentration. Now use a normal attack to interrupt the boss. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt the boss. And it looks like... You know, it looks like it's not targeting her. Like, the targeting line seems to be going from the bad guy to the non-caster. But I'll still do this. Okay. Normal attacks interrupt skill. So I interrupted that skill that it was going to do. Um, it can damage your power of concentration when casting a spell. When the concentration bar is empty, any action underway is canceled and the character loses their turn. Oh, that's Magic, not good. How much does this do? 71. So slightly basically the same. A little bit less. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack. Alright, let's, let's get this in there. Oh yeah, we got this thing. No problem. Um, okay, so I can't tell. Like, is it is it targeting me still? Is it easy to examine that? Um, uh, this tells me, like, information, but about my character uh about her stats and everything like that, which is cool, but, um... Do I want to defend again? It says it has a target. Let me go back. Let me see if I can... If there's any way for me to, uh... Get... Info on... Oh, Shield Bash. What is this? Can I do that? 100 MP. Try that. Um... It inflicts high damage. Try it. Yeah, try this. Yeah, that does inflict high damage. Nice. All right, so now he's just going to shoot Ordo. So that seems like it was hard for me. I couldn't have done anything to really stop that. But that doesn't... It's not a tremendous amount of damage. Um, okay, so he has a spell or an ability anyway. Chained attack. What does this say? Um, combo of two light attacks. Yeah, do that, dude. Great. That's almost as much as one of her spells. All right. Actions. Spells. Um, try Ice Rift just to see. And there she's firing away. And then do you have... Oh, yeah. You've got Lightning Strike. Do this, dude. How much does this do? Yeah, they're weak to it. So it did 62, 64, which is a tremendous amount of damage. Now he's going to hit over here. Now he has a padlock, which means I can interrupt this. So, if I just do a regular attack, I don't know if her shield bash also interrupts, um, but I'm going to do this to just try to stop it. That did not stop it. That was not enough damage, maybe, to interrupt that attack before it worked. This time, no, no, no. This thing's getting trickier by the moment. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just keep hitting it with this until we're out of magic points, basically. It does the most damage we can do. You take that in your mechanical face um, and then you can take a chained attack because you deserve it 
All right, we got it down to half health. Magic. I beseech, you. beseech it. All right, that was terrible. Never do that again. Uh oh. Oh God. Ords. All right, let's go ahead and shield bash. Good attack. And then uh, we'll we're out of uh, enough MP to make that happen, which is about right. Let's go to actions. Um, I don't know if we need to potion just yet. But I'm going to... Let's just attack. I don't know how much it does. So I don't want to overuse the potion. And I'm, I'm still going to try to chain attack with you. It does such a huge amount of damage. Alright, so he's going to try to attack over there. Do you have any good actions? Not really. Go ahead and do Fire Rift again. It's the best. Shrapnel Missile. This guy's very friendly that he rotates his damage instead of focusing his fire. I appreciate that so much. And let's see. Can we... Uh, just go ahead and, and hit it in the face. Mm-hmm. Terrific. And you still have enough MP to just keep shield bashing, so do it. And you no longer have enough MP for that, which is criminal. Uh, and you don't have any potions, so I have to be mindful of that. And we'll just attack. Uh-oh, it's going to hit her with the missile. Now, well, that's probably going to interrupt her spell. Oh, it didn't. She didn't care. That's good. Alright, and then let me just a attack, I guess. Okay, and here comes Fire Rift. He resisted the special attack, but we still hit him. And you can do Shield Bash another time. Alright, we got this thing down to about 20% health. It's leaning over. Let's hit it. Take that. And we'll hit it again. It could put a hurt on somebody. We're getting lower on health. Longinus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she doesn't have a good face. Oh. Now, wait a minute. I didn't know they had that ability. Oh, she's just out. Like, the, the game has changed significantly. Oh, my God. You take that. And then... Take this. We almost got it. It's going to be really close, actually. This game is like uh, treating me Game of Thrones style with my people. We've had a lot of fatalities. First Kino and now Xandra. How many more lives? Robot man. Get out of here. Almost. Come on, finish it off, Ordo. This is for Xandra. Are you going to explode? What happens to you after we win? Sandra. She. Yeah. We need to go to the headquarters. Regroup. Yeah. We gotta let's go. regroup. And keep an eye out for survivors. We're fine. We just oh my god. Her body's missing. Uh she's not even there anymore. Kino is still there. Kino is crushed under the rock. Um, nobody else appears to be there. Wow, look, we have some kind of like special mounts. That thing looks cool. Um, maybe we get one of those later in the game. That would be exciting. Oh, there's a, a pickup over here. What's this? Amber poisons the target. I will say we didn't get experience for defeating that big robot or treasure. Or level up our weapons. And that's just disappointing. There also appears to be, at least right now, there's no, like, uh, map, you know? Typically in a game of this nature, the map would appear on the screen in one of the corners. 
uh, to indicate the boundaries and the path, but not so much. Maybe I'll get a device that does that for me later. There's some purple crystal over here, a little flamey. Um, all right, so let's just go this way, I guess. The Seed of Destruction says we should reach the mountain. Oh, these are the crystals that they said we're supposed to protect them. I get it. Where's the air brigade? Where's the fifth contingent? What the hell are they doing? If they're not here yet, then... No! There's no way they've been wiped out! No way! Uh... I like your enthusiasm, my dude. Okay. So, let's keep pressing on. And see what we've got over here. Some nice uh, pink cherry trees, it appears. Mountains, a big crystal floating on top of a spire. And some multicolored crystal. Looks like a, a ring of dancing energy and lights. Uh-oh. There's baddies on the trail. Do we just avoid these? Can we just run up here and, you know, dodge this dude? It's a it's a drone, level two. It, it wants to, to kill us. I know that it does. But we can just, you know, be very elusive and sneak past. Okay, so interesting. So when you're normally playing this game, enemies appear on the world map and you can choose to engage or not. A lot of time. Oh no. Stay here. Stay with me and we'll make it. The the tower isn't it's not holding on. Yeah, you know, when you're a medieval world, uh, you know, in medieval times with that level of technology and people arrive in spaceships, you're in a world of hurt, although we do seem to have magic, so that could help us. The Great Equalizer. Oh, here's more of these mounts. Alright. Flames, people... No, 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 no. Help me. Supplicant. Help. Who's the supplicant? What is this? Yeah, what Place is this? Uh-oh. What is this thing? It's like a spellcaster? Calling thunder. Get out of the target zone. Okay, let's get out of the target zone. All right. If the camera is too close, press right tr uh, stick to switch to tactical mode. All right, I switched to tactical mode. Characters in that zone will receive damage. Not good. Use the tactical mode to get a better view of the battlefield. Move left stick to move the camera and right stick to rotate the camera. Okay. So I can rotate the camera like this, and left stick like this, and I'm just going to say, hey, um, okay, press right trigger to open the action, yep, and then we can move over here, and it looks like I can only move to a tile where, can I move on the tile with somebody else? Can she move with him? Yeah, she can. So they can be buddies in the same square. Now, she's not oriented correctly, but I don't know if that matters. Oh, he moved. The opponent is turning their back on you. Okay, press the right trigger to open up the main commands. Use a physical attack to perform a backstab. Okay, so interesting. So the your orientation does appear to matter because people can perform a backstab on you. Or vice versa. Red damage means you dealt extra damage with the backstab. Yeah, we did. Deal with that, buddy. Oh, he's going really fast. Um, okay. Uh... Let's go ahead and give this guy fire strike. Oh, no, we got to move. Um, actions, uh, move. And we're going to move over here. And then um, I want to attack, but I don't know if we can reach. Yeah, we can't because uh, he's too far away. So we have to go to actions and move, you know, maybe over here. And then you have to move. Uh, this is fine. I have to do a better job orienting myself. 
All right, now we can uh, do Fire Strike on this guy like this. He's not weak to it, but it did do a lot of damage. And then let's go ahead and do a spell. No, we're too far away. Um, we still need to move. We can move over here. I think it said hold A to change your positioning, so let's try that next time. Anyway, we're going to go with a uh, shield bash on this guy. Bam. In your face. Oh, he just charged through us. Okay. So he's damaging this square, so let's go to actions and move. And I'm going to move over here. I'm going to hold A, and then, yep, you can rotate this arrow to change which way you face. And so you can see... Um, all right, the camera's too close. I'm back into tactical. That I'm now facing him. All right, so I'm going to do a... Uh, I'll try a icicle strike on this guy. See if he doesn't like it. He doesn't care. Above him, you can see what elements he's weak to. And he doesn't care about fire or icicle, or ice, rather. Uh, then let's just go ahead and finally get in a big attack on this guy. Ooh, almost got him, actually. He was very close to being staggered there. I think in her tile, she's actually safe. But it doesn't matter, because I'm going to shield bash this guy, and I should kill him. He's dead. Everything he loved has been taken from him. I don't know what he is, either, but he's dead. Oh my god, he disappeared into lightning. Thank the gods you're safe. Yeah, buddy. There's no time to lose. You must take me to the headquarters quickly. Uh, You're waiting for me to conduct the ritual. We can fight back and smite these wretched archolites. Okay. We can win this war. I can win this war. Your eyebrows. I need you to take me to the mountain right now. I'll get you to the That's mountain. That's exactly where we're going. Good. 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 What were you waiting for? Let's go. Sure, supplicant. We're going to help you. We really are pleased to see you. Um, there's a, an item over here, though. Before we go to the mountain, I just want to pick up any loose treasure that we find. I'm sure you understand, Supplicant. Treasure is extremely important. Win the war? If this is a joke, Supplicant, it's a bad one. It's not a joke. Don't doubt the words of a sanctorium priest, soldier. The gods punish those who lack true faith. Okay. Yes. Faith? faith? Not a good time, Ordo. Yeah, let's not let's not have that conversation. Give me the amber. Okay. Excellent. Um, anything over here? Just big spikes. All right, spiky wall means we have to cut back this way. I really like that the game is voice acted. Okay. Dead soldiers. Drones moving back and forth. Are the gods here to help us? Anywhere. Show me, and I'll show you true faith. Uh, or don't drop it. We don't have time to argue. Yeah, man, we don't have Gods time for this. Will present them the truth, and the non-believers will understand too late the extent of their foolishness. Yeah, too late. All right, I'm just playing the coward's game right now. It served me well. Give me this. What is it, Amber? It's ether. Oh God, I love ether. Give me the ether. It's highly addicting. But so tasty. Alright, any treasures over here? Trust me, this is the most direct route to the mountain, supplicant. Alright, we're actually getting kind of close. And we got some ambrosia powder. Oh, it's a buff. Wow, 10 turns of 50% max health. Pretty good. We don't have time to stop. Keep going. Ordo? I, uh, what is happening? I, uh, oh, the corruption. Hey, what's wrong? Are we losing another hey, party member? Stay away from me! Ordo. Is that man corroded? Don't let him anywhere near me. We shouldn't even be breathing the same air. We should be leaving him here and... Calm hey. down, pal. It's not supposed to spread that fast. Maybe... Maybe it's not what we think it is. 
No, Darian. I... I know this is it. I can already feel it. Creeping into my mind. Uh... Now. That's an order! Shut up! This is our comrade! Yeah, we don't take orders from Darian. you, dude. I won't be able to resist it much longer. Please. Do it quickly! Oh my goodness. What is happening? Ordo. I... Do it! Do we have anybody? This quickly. Great, now we get to kill our own yeah. friend. Oh, he's fighting us like a zombie. Oh my goodness. Alright. Fire strike should do extra damage, right? No. Just regular damage. Man, this game is just brutal. We're going to be down to just the uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. And the no eyebrows man very soon. Alright, so let's go ahead and move out of the death field. And we will face this way. I do like the tactical combat, though. The moving around. Ooh, I am sorry. She got hit by it. I hope that doesn't mean you got the corrosion. Because, well, that's just plain bad. Uh, we're going to move over here so you don't have to step in that cloud again. All right. And we will try lightning. Anybody got a weakness? No. Contained outburst? Uh-oh. Get it. Mm. I don't have any more of that, so we'll just hit it. Now. Give him the bash. And give him the regular attack. All right. R.I.P. Ordo. Wow. We need to go. We do need to go. Goodness gracious, what a beginning. This game has, I mean... We've seen three characters that we've had dialogue with die already out of uh, six that we've met. That is a staggering fatality rate. I can only imagine the supplicant is soon to be wiped from the earth. If you take Syl from me as well, I don't even know what to think anymore. All right, let's reach the mountain. We can do it. At least the mountain. Come on, supplicant. Don't drag behind. We need your eyebrowless face to be here. So this is like a, a crossbow or something. That that, thing again. It is that thing again. It's here to fight you, supplicant. It's becoming stronger by the minute. That's not good. If this continues, we don't stand a chance. Um, okay. Alright. So we're gonna need people to move. Um, let me see. Let me go back out to tactical view. You're actually okay where you're at, but I need to move you to a, um, an area. I don't know where he's going to move. That's the thing that's tricky. I'm going to kind of move here and hope that this forces him to be in a tile that's adjacent. Nope didn't. Alright, so I'll move over here and hope that we can hit him someday. That's the plan. Alright. Okay, cool. Yeah, we will. Alright, buddy. Take the... No, we've already tried this. Um, let's try... Let's go back and... Nah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. That's fine. Oh! That hardly did anything. It did way more damage before. Um, can I use the crossbow? This isn't good. Um, she has a an attack behind it, at least, so she can backstab it. But even then, that's not as much damage. That thing is yellow, so let's move toward the uh, crossbow. It is shining like it's got some interaction with it. The rocks. We need to cause a rock slide somehow. Oh, a rock slide. Yeah, that's exactly what, what I was that? thinking. 
Okay, it, it does contain interactable elements like the ballista. Try to use it. Okay, let's use it. All right, hopefully he doesn't mind if we uh, move onto that tile with him. He does mind. So we can't really do it while he's there. Um, but we need you to move over here. Okay. And uh, can you, like, attack him, I guess? Uh, maybe I should just advance time and wait for him to to move out of the way. Well, whatever. I'll just punch him a little bit. And he can he can process that. And um, I want to move there, but he's just on the square. So I kind of have to... Oh, let's just skip the turn. Okay, good. Move to the nexus containing the ballista to be able to use it. Okay. So we're going to move there. And press B to interact. And target a zone to cause a rock slide. So, um, I guess we'll target his zone. Oh, yeah. That seemed to do a lot of damage. Take that, buddy. Oh, that wasn't even the half of it. We hit him with the ballista and caused a rock slide. Take that, just like Kino. Darian. What's up? I'm, I'm fine. Okay. I'm okay. I got hit in the no in the side. To lose. Protect the supplicant. I'll be right behind you. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay. If everybody dies me. except yes, the supplicant, and you res hurry. you take control of the supplicant, I don't know if I'm gonna play this game anymore. <laughs> This guy again. Persistent. You have to close the door! Close the door now! We are not leaving Darien behind. Close the door, I said! Look, dude, Come just relax. Come on, Darien. You can do it. <coughs> what are you waiting for? Close it! I can't. It's jammed. You have to do something Run. that's coming for me! Go do your thing, Supplicant. So you don't need to stand here. Do something! What are you doing? Oh, no. We're gonna lose her, too. Still. No! to safety. Save Haryan. Survive. Do it for me. Shut up, Syl. I still owe you a date, remember? Open up! We'll beat this thing together. Just open the damn door! Goodbye, Darian. Syl! This is one of the more tragic beginnings you'll have in a game. This guy is full on corruption. You. She knows him? Get up. She has accomplished her mission. Yours is still unfinished. Come with me. <laughs> what is this? 
Bear witness, soldier, to the miracle made possible by the sacrifice of your comrade. This doesn't look good. I mean, what Fate kind of miracle is this? That you would come. And so I have. Then come. Take your rightful place in eternity. Eternity? I am ready, your highness. Seems like the classic win by summoning demons strategy always works out well. Always worth it. The people who are in the chains are definitely going to be okay. Okay. Demon hand. Grabbing their spaceship. Well, that part worked. Take that spaceship. You got the purple demon hand treatment. Uh, they're all gone. What the... What the hell... happened? Uh, ooh, wow, the vaporize effect. What happened to them? They ascended. That they did. And look what their sacrifice has brought about. Hope. Hope for all of Herion. Hope that this terrible war will one day come to an end. Hope? Everyone is dead! What kind of hope is this? Yeah. The only kind we have. This is what I feared. His soul wasn't whole. Crystal needs another sacrifice. All right, Imperator, it's you, dude. Jump on it. I'm sorry. It has chosen you. You did that, didn't you? It could have chosen you. Find comfort in knowing that your death was necessary. Why do you have a green Not eye on your hand? Can die with the certitude that their death is meaningful. Uh. Survive. No. All that matters. Is the greater good. Don't struggle. You will only make it worse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't struggle. Stop this. Alright. I told you not to struggle. You will sour the sacrifice. I'm gonna sour it. This is absurd. Yeah, this is absurd. I'm gonna eat this like an apple. Watch what I can do. I refuse to die here! That's right, buddy. Ooh, I broke it. That also goes well when you break the demon crystal. Pretty much a win win for everybody. I wasn't the hero I thought I'd be. This wasn't my war. Not anymore. At that time, when I thought I'd die in the snow of the beyond, my thoughts were with my family. My mother. My sister. I realized then that if I could choose what to give my life for, it would be for those I love. Can he change his armor a little bit? Brother, I have dire news. Mother has caught the corrosion. I managed to get some time off from the Sanctorium to take care of her. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. She's not in pain. Not yet. Hey. Although her days are numbered, 
there's still hope. For I may have learned of a way to cure her. Is it with demon magic? I need you. Darian, please come home. Music's good here. So that was the prologue, or the intro. And it looks like it's a person with a demon hand. It's always a troubling sight. Oh, come on. Please say the Imperator didn't make it. Wow, out from under that? Dude's tougher than he seems. A most terrible waste. You mean you surviving? Oh, here's this guy, Lightning Man. So you're the one. Who will put an end to all this? I should have known that even bruised, chained, and defeated, the gods would still try to rein back the fate of mankind. And yet, I never thought they'd go as far as forming an alliance with our enemies. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but when Judgment Day comes, I will be the one sitting on the throne. Huh. I officially have no idea what's going on. I thought we were fighting spaceships. Now it's gods and demons. Disease. Got a lot of enemies here. Several weeks later, I hear the ocean. Oh, yes. And here we are in some kind of beautiful ocean town with a view of some moons and some planets very, very close by. Astrian continent. Inel is this town with a cute little bunny on the sign. Some bizarre looking ships. Inel. Okay. And a uh, animated character portrait on the dialogue box. Day and a half from home. The voice acting is nice. I hope mm. I'm not too late. Me too? Well, we've now made it out of the kind of like preface introduction and into the game proper. And I'd have to say it looks amazing. The story has intrigued me. I want to know what's happening. And I'm excited to play more. But I want to know what you guys think. Have you played this game? Do you recommend going further? Is it worth it? What do you think if you've never played this game? Does this look interesting? Do you want to see more? Love to chat with you in the comments below. I want to thank you so much for watching. And I'll check you guys next time. Take care.